It's a tough time for volleyball fans right now. All the big signings and trades have already happened. The World Championships doesn't start for over a month. Everyone's outside in the sun playing beach volleyball. Except for the people watching this video, of course. But luckily, 5-1 Volleyball is here to tell you about the top 10 players at each position in men's pro volleyball. Myself and three other obsessive volleyball fans got together to make these 100% subjective lists and I'll try and explain the reasoning behind each pick. Last week we focused on the opposites and this week we're going to do the position that I play personally and I think is one of the hardest positions to play, guys who can do everything on the court, outside hitters. Left-handed outsides are as rare as a middle who can play defense. So for a lefty to be among the best outsides in the world is impressive. Whether you're watching Eros Kovacevic play with Trentino or with Serbia, you can be sure there will be at least one play from him that will blow your mind. This cut shot from a Champions League game in the fall, going away from his body to the corner, is an example of one. It gives a good representation of his unorthodox playstyle that has resulted him turning into a top tier player. However, the last few months have been kind of tough on Kovacevic, with an underperforming season for Trentino and a real tough time passing at Nations League at only 11% efficiency. To be frank, your team isn't going to win games when you can only run first tempo one out of every 10 times. Serbia will need a better performance from him if they want to live up to their potential as a team in the World Championships. Brazilian volleyball just hasn't been the same for the last nine months without Lucarelli. He went down with an Achilles tendon injury in November, meaning he missed playing for Brazil in the Nations League. And they really felt his absence, especially after outside hitter Mauricio Borges also went down with a knee injury. When he is healthy, Lucarelli is a dynamic force on the wing. He is a rare player who is able to serve, receive, play defense, and attack all in elite level. Blocking could use a little work. He played a key component of Brazil's gold medal win at the 2016 Olympics and won best outside spiker for the tournament. Achilles injuries, however, are notoriously difficult to recover from, most famously ending the career of Kobe Bryant. Lucarelli might miss the world championships as well, due to complaints from his club Taubaté relating to his injury recovery process. Hopefully, he can return to playing volleyball at the same level as he played before the injury. If you want proof of how important Mihal Kubiak is on the volleyball court, look no further than Poland's performance in the Nations League this year. While Kubiak was playing with the team in the first two weeks of the tournament, they went 6-0 against really competitive opponents such as Russia, France, and Canada. After he had to leave the team to deal with chronic conjunctivitis, which is a type of eye infection I do not recommend googling, the Polish team went 4-7 the rest of the Nations League. Obviously, Kubiak wasn't the only reason for this, but his ferocious attacking generates a ton of important points for them. Kubiak is a divisive character because of his overflowing confidence and penchant for net talk, but he can back it up. Poland will be glad to have his talent and swagger back for the World Championships. Kubiak again. Brilliant service reception from Mikhail Kubiak, followed by a stunning spike cross court. The first of two Americans on this list is 6'5 BYU grad Taylor Sander. With a massive vertical and arguably the hardest arm swing in volleyball, Sander is one of my favorite players to watch. You never know when he can explode out of the backcourt for a lightning fast pick courtesy of Micah Christensen. He can pass daggers and is a proficient blocker considering that he's undersized compared to others on this list. Despite competing with great players such as Aaron Russell and Chalmers Jaski on Team USA for coveted starting outside positions, Taylor has established himself as the cream of the crop. We didn't get to see him play much during the summer's Nations League as he had a new Sander on the way, but his performance in the final round was enough to earn a distinction as one of the best outsides. The foreign player limit in the Italian league, which only permits four foreign players to be on the court at once, Limited him last season because of Lube's immense foreign talent, but with Yoandri Leal and Robert Landy Simon out of Sada Cruzeiro, we finally get to see how he performs as the leader of a team. The youngest player on this list also just barely misses the top half. At only 22 years old, Dmitry Volkov was the captain of a Russian team that dismantled its competition 
at the 2018 Nations League. And he was a huge part of their success, scoring 48 points in the final round on his way to a Best Outside Hitter award. Russia's youth teams had always had success, so eyes have been on Dmitry Volkov and fellow outside hitter Igor Kliuka for a while. And so far, they are exceeding expectations with their dominance on the senior team. Russia will be the team to beat in the World Championships this year after winning the Nations League in very convincing fashion. Where Volkov hasn't had as much success is with his club team Feka. Even paired up with Kliuka, they haven't had much success against deeper and more experienced teams in the Russian League. The question is, will his loyalty to his youth team outweigh the lucrative contract offers from richer clubs? Just have to wait and see. While not in the spotlight as much as some of his fellow Cuban compatriots, Yoandri Leal is still one of the best in the business. A heavy arm swing that he can seemingly hit at any angle is his best asset, but like most outsides on the list, he is an incredible all-around player. Leal is making his first foray into Europe this fall, after Sada Cruzeiro in Brazil swapped him with Taylor Sander to Lubechi Vitanova in Italy. He is dominated in South America, and will no doubt dominate in Europe, where he will share the court with fellow Cuban Osmani Wantarena. With a closet full of awards in Sada Cruzeiro, including three club world championship wins, the only thing missing from his resume are international accomplishments. Leal will get that chance when he joins the Brazilian national team in 2019. Hopefully the injury curse of being Brazilian outside doesn't affect him. If you were, hypothetically, to create the perfect volleyball player in a lab, I don't think the result would be that far from Osmani Wantarena. At 6'7 with a Condor's wingspan, he possesses the dexterity of someone much smaller and the strength of someone bigger. He leverages his physical attributes well. He was the MVP of the Italian Super League in the 2017-2018 season, beating out great players like Irvin Engapet and Ivan Zaitsev. His stats blew every other wing player out of the water. He had an astonishing 58 kill percentage on 3.43 kills per set, which was the most efficient in the league. He had 44 aces with only 59 airs. And all that offense was complemented by 22% passing efficiency, which was good for sixth in the league. He wasn't nearly as dominant in the Nations League, however, only hitting 47% and passing 19% over the three weekends he played. Italy will need him to play at top form if they want a chance of winning a World Championship medal on home turf. Well, we've seen some good blocks, we've seen some monster blocks, but that was indeed a monster block from Once Arena. I received a fair amount of messages asking why Matt Anderson was missing from the top 10 opposite list. He was probably the toughest player to place at a position because he alternates so fluidly between outside and opposite. Ultimately, I decided to rank him as an outside hitter because he plays the position for Zenit Kazan and still receives as an opposite on Team USA. And also because this list is totally arbitrary and I can do whatever I want. Regardless of which position he is playing, he is one of the best to do it. Anderson had a ridiculous Nations League from a statistical perspective, hitting at 55% kill percentage and passing at a 42% efficiency. His presence helped lead them to a bronze medal over Brazil after losing to France in five sets in the semi-finals. Even with guys like Taylor Sander, Micah Christensen, Max Holt, and Eric Shoji on the team, Anderson stands out as a leader and is the foundation of their team. There are a lot of young wings on Team USA anxious to take a starting spot, but for now, Anderson is irreplaceable. If you were to ask a casual volleyball fan, which I'm assuming you're not because you're watching this video, who their favorite player was, there's a pretty good chance that they would choose Irvin Engapet. The French superstar is the flashiest player we have in our sport. Many YouTube and Instagram highlight reels have been dedicated to his creative and skillful moves that he pulls off in matches. Even better, things like the backwards attack and the fake pipe set are actually effective and have been replicated by players and leagues all over the world. His rap career, however, has yet to garner quite as much attention. Even though he's known for his flashy attacks, where he makes his best contribution is behind the attack line. He is a near technically perfect passer, with 24% efficiency in the Italian league this season and 34% to the Nations League, which was right near the top in both leagues. He also led the Nations League in aces per set. After a messy exit from Modena, 
Engapet will be replacing our number one player on the list in Zenikazan next season. Let's see if he can continue his dominance in Russia. Honorable mentions at the outside position include Igor Kliuka of Russia, Gord Perrin of Canada, Filippo Lanza of Italy, Milad Badapour of Iran, and Facundo Conte of Argentina. Number one on this list is a player you probably didn't expect, Ruben Shaw. Just kidding, it's exactly who you all expected. You thought two Americans on this list was impressive? How about three Cubans? Wilfredo Leon is the closest thing we have to a LeBron James in volleyball. An overpowering athlete who has been crowned the next big thing since he was 16 years old. And like LeBron, Leon has lived up to the hype. His club team, Zeneca Zahn, has won four Champions League titles in a row, with Wilfredo as their cornerstone. He hits over 55% in every competition he takes part in, and has come close to averaging an ace per set. The only thing missing from his resume right now is national team medals, which he hasn't had the chance to win for several years. However, soon, we will have the chance to see how a modern Leon measures up to the international stage when he plays with Poland in 2019. As always, I appreciate all of you watching the video. I encourage you to contribute to the discussion. If you disagree with anything, post it in the comments below. Like if you agree with the whole list, which you probably do, also post that in the comments below. And remember to subscribe if you want to see the rest of this series. We have three positions left that I'm going to try and get done before the World Championships. Thanks.